energy defines Harry Gray. From his unflagging enthusiasm for science, for his students, and for discovering new knowledge, to his current research passion for renewable fuels, energy drives him. His half century of curiosity has led him to explore most areas of inorganic chemistry and the interface where inorganic compounds interact with biological systems, opening a new field of research. Today, he's putting all his accumulated knowledge and skills to work tackling the complex chemistry of solar energy storage, hoping to create a device that mimics nature's photosynthesis to provide clean water and clean fuel. For his contributions to life as a creative and tireless researcher, inspired educator, and statesman for science, the Welch Foundation honors Harry B. Gray with the 2009 Welch Award in Chemistry. Named after Houston oil man and philanthropist Robert Alonzo Welch, this award recognizes chemists whose dedication to basic research contributes to the betterment of humankind. Tonight, we salute a man who has helped expand the field of inorganic chemistry and apply that knowledge to better understand important biological systems. I love what I do. I, I love to work with students. I, I, look, I, I love ideas. I love to think about new directions, um, thinking about new experiments all the time. It gets me up to come in early and uh, start talking science with, uh, with young people. Dr. Gray's enthusiasm is contagious and part of what makes him a great scientist, according to his colleagues. I think just sheer love of everything, love of people, love of knowledge, love of exploration, of new ideas, he exudes that. I think that Harry is one of those people that's just so dedicated to his science and he's got a, a sort of chemical intuition. Harry's energy for science really enables him to keep poking and keep prodding and keep looking at these systems until he finds an answer that is consistent and relevant and true. A childhood fascination with color led Dr. Gray into chemistry. In early work, he developed the ligand field theory, still important today, which helps explain the colors of inorganic compounds. He began applying the theory in biological systems, such as respiration and photosynthesis, where metals play a critical role. This work helped co-found the field of biological inorganic chemistry. He did pioneering work in electron transfer, showing that electrons can rapidly move long distances in proteins, an important finding in helping control these reactions and capture the energy created. He developed powerful new research tools and techniques to expand the frontiers of knowledge. Today, at age 73, Dr. Gray's research interests remain wide-ranging, for example, he is exploring how protein folding and misfolding play a role in diseases of aging, such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. But the major focus of his unflagging energy is on energy, how we can use the sun to create clean water and clean power. If you live long enough, you, you have a big background of fundamentals that you can, you can really build on to attack really complex problems. That's where I am. I'm attacking right now a very complex, very difficult problem of, of trying to understand how to build a solar energy storage system. Dr. Gray believes being a good researcher and a good teacher go hand in hand. He thinks about, about chemistry, like as, as many of us do, in, in all aspects of life. Um, and you know, what's wonderful about Harry is he's not just an extraordinary scientist. He's an exceptional educator. He knows how to get students excited. Dr. Gray says he is proudest of the accomplishments of his students, pointing to the 125 chemists and six university presidents who've come through his lab. I love to teach because I'm a big ham, of course, as you can probably tell. I'm only nervous when, I'm, when people don't let me talk. Uh, 
And when I'm teaching, I'm thinking about how to present ideas. A lot of the best ideas I've had for research have come through my teaching. Recruited from Columbia University to Caltech in 1966 to help build an inorganic chemistry department, Dr. Gray helped found the Beckman Institute, one of the world's most prestigious institutions focusing on research in the chemical and biological sciences. Really, he was one of a very small number of people who turned inorganic chemistry into the modern discipline that it is now, introducing all kinds of um, physical methods into the field and also then taking those and applying them to important problems where inorganic chemistry spills out into biochemistry, etc. Dr. Gray grew up in a small Kentucky town where his dad was teacher, principal, and basketball coach. He conducted chemistry experiments in the basement while working long hours at the local newspaper, starting as a delivery boy at age 10, and capping his brief journalistic career by interviewing Elvis Presley. Dr. Gray met his wife in a 7 a.m. college physics class. I spotted her. Uh, she was very smart, giving lots of answers, talking a lot, uh, and uh, we started a friendly comp competition in classes, in physics and other classes, and fell in love. Shirley taught junior high and high school math during Harry's early career, earning her doctorate in her 50s to now teach graduate school at California State University, Los Angeles. Their three children, Vicki, Andrew, and Mike, have all made careers in science, medicine, and engineering. Two of them are college professors as well. The Grays have three grandchildren. They call me Grand Dudes because they claim I'm too cool to be called Grandpa. Growing up, the family took an active part in university life, including research group dinners and parties. The Grays still enjoy time together, visiting, watching or playing sports, and buying in cutthroat Jeopardy competitions. Tennis remains a passion for Harry, who plays regularly with family, friends, and students. We've been blessed with three healthy, happy children, parents that were supportive. Maybe because of the way we grew up in such small towns, we never thought of separating out our lives. We're just a part of his research group. We don't think of us as a separate group. We think of it as, we're working, hey, you know, we're having a good time. Family and friends, work and leisure, science and sports. It's all chemistry to Dr. Gray. Harry is a delight. Everything about Harry is fun. And Harry's a great scientist because he is very deep thinking and very driven, but also uh, someone who absolutely loves what he's doing. After an almost half century building an impressive research career and inspiring generations of students, Dr. Gray hopes his greatest contributions to chemistry still lie ahead with breakthroughs in renewable energy. My dream is to have uh, big solar power plants next to water purification plants. So at the same time, we could uh, solve the clean water problem and the energy problem. That's my dream. Competitive and caring, intense and fun, smart and passionate, full of energy and enthusiasm, a remarkable researcher and a remarkable man. For his invaluable contributions to inorganic chemistry, particularly biological inorganic chemistry and inorganic photochemistry, please join us in saluting Harry B. Gray the 2009 recipient of the Welch Award in Chemistry.